Pulisic's back, a manager in Argentina got shot, and ESPN FC got killed. It's all right here on Tea Time with David. Welcome to Tea Time with David, where we are spilling all of the tea on American soccer and what's going on in Europe. Now, for this, I'll be drinking tea, but we're not drinking that shite from Europe. No, no, no. We are drinking that pure American and our sponsor for today, slash not really our sponsor, Twisted Tea. Sponsor us, seriously. Anyways, let's jump right into what our Americans are doing abroad, starting with Weston McKinney and his throw-ins. If some of you have not seen it, Weston McKinney played Zenit in the Champions League on Tuesday, and he just throws these absolute bombs of throw-ins. And I know he's from Texas, so he must have some quarterback in him, but you're trying to tell me that this is a legal throw-in? Speaking of Weston McKinney, he also had a fantastic moment in that game when he sliced and diced multiple Zenit defenders and his shot hit off the crossbar. I'm going to tell you right now, if that shot went in, no, no, November, over. Two days in, done. It's all over the place. Also with Americans going on, John Brooks fouled the absolute hell out of Brendan Aronson during the Champions League with Wolfsburg and Red Bull Salzburg. And who the hell forgot to tell John Brooks that friendly fire will not be tolerated? That's American on American violence there. Don't do that. Interestingly enough, the latest U.S. men's national team rosters come out. John Brooks, not on it. Coincidence? I think not. Don't foul your own players, man. Speaking of the roster, though, guess what? Paul Areola is back, and Sebastian Legette, and Christian Roldan. Yeah! I'm so excited. <laughs> Lastly, though, ending on some really positive news, Christian Pulisic is in the U.S. men's national team camp, and he was back for Chelsea for the first time in 80 days. It has been so long since we've seen him. He last played against Crystal Palace in August, and so he's back in the Champions League. He missed an absolute sitter. We're not gonna talk about it though. Watergate that shit, don't let it get found. He did not miss. We're just happy that Christian Pulisic is back. Now onto some of the big headlines going on in soccer. We wanna give a big congratulation to former Tottenham boss Nuno on his new managerial position at Walmart. You did it. Congratulations. Sorry things didn't work out Tottenham, but I'm sure Walmart has some great benefits for you. And uh, don't get employee of the month in the first month and then get fired two months later. And also in the news, a coach in Argentina got shot during a game. That is tough. I bet Nuno thought he got off easy now. Good news. He's going to recover from his injuries. But guys, don't bring guns to soccer games. Just don't do that. Now we're going to go to a very special segment of Did Norwich Win This Week with our special Norwich correspondent, Colby. Colby, take it away. No. Thank you, Colby. Now, lastly, in news, Cristiano Ronaldo did Cristiano Ronaldo things. They say that graphene is the strongest material on Earth, but no, it is Cristiano Ronaldo Champions League plot armor. Literally, he's going to save old Gunnar Solskjaer's job. Slurred that a little bit. I think I need a little more twisted tea. Cristiano Ronaldo in the Champions League, guaranteed goals. He scored two. That man is pumping out goals faster than he's pumping out children. Congrats on the twins, Ronaldo. Now let's talk about what's popping on social media, starting with one of the biggest TikTokers in the world, Kabi LeMay, who had one of the weirdest but best crossovers we've ever seen. Now he got famous for his classic pointing out loopholes and things, and he pointed out a giant loophole in Squid Game, if you've seen it, in the glass challenge. As you can see in the video, he scoots across, showing that you didn't have to jump on this glass, you could have just gone right down the middle. And when he goes to flex on the guard, the guard takes off his mask, and lo and behold, it's Zlatan Ibrahimovic. But if you've seen Squid Game, you know that Zlatan has to die. Spoiler alert, sorry, if you take off your mask, it's game over. And unfortunately, Zlatan, don't do that. Now, on to our last one. Speaking of killing, we're going to talk about ESPN FC getting absolutely throttled by Venezia's Twitter for no reason. I, 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 like Venezia just woke up and chose violence, I guess, where ESPN FC was complimenting them on their beautiful kits, and Venezia was like, did you put a filter over our stuff? What is? I don't know what Venezia saw, but Venezia clearly saw that their photos were edited, and they took a huge swipe at ESPN FC, and it is hilarious. 10 out of 10 by Venezia. Love the killing. No remorse. I like more of it. Please do that in Syria Ah, with Gilan Cabusio and Tanner Tesman. That is all for the tea this week. We will be dropping tea and drinking tea next week. Be sure to be there for when Twisted Tea maybe or may not sponsor us. Paul Ariel's on the roster. <laughs>